Hey everybody, welcome back to Nerd News Today. I'm Matthew. I'm Andrea. And today we're taking a look at some of the best action figures ever. Well, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe not. We'll see. That's the name of the line. Today yes. we're taking a look at another series of action figures from the Loyal Subjects as part of their best action series. Uh, I don't know if you could tell, but um, it's Avatar The Last Airbender. Yeah, I feel like it's a little obvious, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. really was. Yeah, so yeah. I guess that was really not that dramatic. No, unfortunately, but eh, still really cool because it's a really nice looking box here. <laughs> so this is the Best Action Avatar The Last Airbender 4-pack. This is like an elemental 4-pack mm -hmm. we're taking a look at today. And, uh, you know, we've looked at a lot of Avatar figures mm -hmm. in the past. but You know we love our Avatar. Yeah, we've taken a look at Diamond Select's Avatar figures. Uh, McFarlane. And today we're doing the Loyal Subjects. So very different figures all together. Uh, and I'm very curious to see what Best Action is going to do with these characters. Mm -hmm. So I guess all we can do is open it up. Yeah, I do want to point out this packaging real quick, by the way. Uh, it's just really nice and slim and pretty gorgeous, I think, too. Yeah. I like this look. Uh, it is very sleek. Yeah, it's very sleek. Uh, I like the design. You got the elements on the front here. But you also have them on the sides in black. And then you got the back of the box, which is pretty nice also. Mm -hmm. It shows you the figures. It has a little descriptor of the concept of Avatar. I guess so, yeah. Because um, the wording's a little weird on that. And then you have this interesting little circle thingy. Why does it tell us to get into the pit and play? I, What's the pit? I want to know what this pit is. Like, why is there a pit? Where is the pit? Is the pit like Silence of the Lambs? Is the pit in our head? Am I the pit? Are you the pit? Are we the pit? Are, Are you, you the, the pit? pit? Unrehearsed. <laughs> I don't know. High five! Yeah. Winning. <laughs> There's a pit for some reason. Yeah, I, uh, I don't want to get it. I don't, I don't get it. It is cool that it does say that there are 31 points of mm -hmm. articulation in this figures. We will be the judge of that. Yes. We've heard such claims previously. Is it actually true? I will say I do appreciate that they, they also tell you specifically some of the highlights. The swivel bicep and thigh joints, double knee, shoulder, and elbow joints, ball joints for maximum posability. And then it says get in the pit and, and play. And then we're back to the pit. So. I don't get the pit. What is the pit? Uh, maybe we'll find it when we open this thing up here. But yeah, I do want to look at this. This is beautiful. Now, this is a cool reveal. Yeah. You want to hold that side there? Because this is a really nice reveal. Yeah. So I like this off the bat because you can see everything. Mm -hmm. This is everything. Because this style of box here, you really are seeing all the many, many, many accessories you get here. There are so many. It looks so cool. And that's like the one thing right away that we can tell. You know? So I do want to point out, we're going to be talking about the other Avatar figures throughout this video. Um, probably less so the seven inch ones because these are five inch figures. So yeah. I think it's a different scale. And that matters. Yeah, yeah it, it does. doesn't matter because, you know, really the three companies that are doing the figures, McFarlane and Diamond are doing seven inch and then Loyal Subjects and McFarlane are doing five inch. Yeah. Diamond's not touching the five inch range. So I don't really want to compare them that much to those. Yeah. But we are going to do a side by side comparison of these to those McFarlane five inchers. We love a good comparison. We do. And uh, one thing to point out already, though, is just the sheer number of accessories. Mm -hmm. You don't get this with oh, McFarlane. No, these are, they're good accessories. Oh my gosh. These, I'm so excited to play with these accessories. Also, what I really love over here, they give you a map of all the nations. That's just really cool. Yeah. It, it's so beautiful and so detailed. I kind of wish they'd maybe, you know, like marked off some of the, some of the cities just, yeah. just for fun. It'd be fun, like where's Omashu? Yeah, exactly, you know, but this is just, it's absolutely stunning. And they also put down the different elements and they put a little thing with it, you know, like water, virtue. Air, peaceful, fire, fierce? Should be honor. Yeah, right? <laughs> honor. And then earth, strong. Yeah. It's just pretty, you know, feels a little bit like a platitude, but, okay. you know, it's, it's just, it's nice that they decided to include, you know, a potential trait of each nation. So I think the best thing to do at this point is to go ahead and Open get these it. guys unboxed and take yes. a look at these figures from all angles. Let's do it. All right, so we have now our four Loyal Subjects Avatar figures out, lined mm -hmm. up, ready to go. On my side, I have Toph and Aang. Over here, I have Zuko and Katara. And I also have all the accessories for them, as well as the razor blade, which I should have put off camera earlier. What do you got? Yeah. So I think there's a few things that are really noticeable up front. Uh, I do want to say my initial thoughts. I think they look really great. Oh my gosh, these figures look phenomenal. These like, are these really are good. Really, yeah, these are so good. Like, I was worried that the accessories would just kind of be here to, like, help them look better or mm -hmm. make them feel better. But no, like, they look good. These yeah. look really good. These are high-quality figures. Yes. The only reason we haven't really reviewed a lot of Loyal Subject stuff is because, frankly, it's been hard to find yeah. in our neck of the woods. And what we do find is usually, like, exorbitantly ripped-off prices. 
Or if we do find it, it's often the musicians. I don't care about those characters. Yeah. yeah I've rarely found the turtles anywhere, mm -hmm. really. So it's hard to do those. Um, but yeah, so again, thanks, by the way. I want to shout out. Yes. Loyal Selfish did send this to us. Thank you. But we are not obligated to give him a positive review. But we're probably going to do we're something gonna similar do. Yeah. anyway. Yeah, we're going to probably do that. Although, I guess, you know, we'll, we'll like, begin with our first negative. Oh, these ain't um these ain't in scale no they are not they are not at in scale at all. all not even close height wise it should be zuko he's the oldest as well as the tallest then you have katara ang and toph everybody here is almost uniform size yeah they're all about the same size so not good at all that part is not good no and i know a lot of folks are very like you know they want to know about scale and it's very important to yeah. them i'm kind of usually like in the middle it depends uh sometimes i let things fly because it is yeah. what it is but here, you kind of need to do it in scale. Yeah, this is a big, big, bad one, unfortunately, right off the bat. And, yeah. you know, we are going to, as I mentioned, compare it to other figures. I do have the McFarlane ones, and we'll do side by sides as we go on. Mm -hmm. But I do want to mention that McFarlane did get the scales closer to right. Like, yeah. everybody does have somewhat different sizes. They might not be 100% screen accurate. That's because they are working within a certain height, mm -hmm. a certain range that they have to make with yeah. the toys. But, like, you know, they got they got the scales closer. I mean, Toph is the best example. In fact, I mean, oddly enough, this Toph is a little bit smaller than that Toph, even. Yeah. Yeah. But you can see, I mean, you know, side by side. Yeah, that's what you need to do. Yeah, there is at least a height difference. Even if it's not completely correct, yeah. it's different. Everybody here is unfortunately the same. So height's a problem, but moving past the, that, mm -hmm. back to the positives, I think yeah. lightness is oh, yeah. phenomenal. Oh, my gosh. Uh, honestly, and I guess this might also be a good time to just quickly talk about the heads. Yeah. Because they all come with an extra head. Yeah, everybody has one extra head here. So my only complaint about these faces I mean, these are great faces. Yeah. But I'm kind of annoyed Katara only has two... Her two expressions are fierce and fighting and... Mm. Yeah, she is so grumpy. Like, what, yeah. what are those choices for the heads? I yeah. don't get that because, yes, there's warrior Katara, but there's so many moments of Katara smiling and looking on tenderly or jokingly. At the very least, you could make a... If you're going to do something like this, give it, make it be the most, most annoyed expression ever. Like the mom face. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I mean, th th to be honest, this one comes a little close. Um, but it's just it's not right. I mean, and Zuko comes with um, angry face and pensive, quiet, blank face. I do feel like they could have done a little bit better over here, but particularly with Katara. See, I think Aang actually lucked out all right. Like Aang's got his static face, but he also has a really, really happy face. Yeah, and that's perfect for Aang. And Toph kind of has uh, some similarities also, but they're definitely more, you know, action-oriented. One is smiley, one is more like feels like battle Toph. Yeah, and that is choices. Toph. Yeah. So I just, I don't understand how they could have dropped the ball on her. Yeah, that's surprising too, yeah. Yeah. Besides the heads, uh, mm -hmm. I do want to mention, since we are talking, I guess, sort of now accessories a little bit, we're going to jump around yeah. a bit here. Yeah, everybody has a ton of accessories. Oh, my God. My so goodness. Cool. Yeah, everybody has so many accessories. I mean, everybody comes with multiple sets of hands, mm -hmm. at least four sets of hands. Top yeah. has more than that, I think. I think, let's see, Top um, has four, Aang has, has four. Actually, no, actually, no, no. everybody has six. Four plus two, it's on them already. So if we're going to math correctly, everybody yeah. has at least six hands. Yeah. Which oh, is wow. a lot of So hands. Katara has eight. Aang has eight. Yeah, yeah. Toph and Zuko have six. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot of hands. That really is. McFarlane gave us none of that. Yeah. <laughs> McFarlane skimmed out hardcore. And as we continue to talk about accessories, everybody has at least one additional, if not two accessories. Yeah. Really, everybody has two at least. Yeah. These are characters. Because, I mean, Toph has this amazing earthbending effect. I know. Oh, my gosh. Which I'm completely so beats the crap out of McFarlane's. Yeah. McFarlane's was nowhere near as good as this. Yeah. This is gorgeous. Yeah. Th that, that just... Yeah. Plus, she has the best thing ever, her championship I belt. Know, oh Not only is it the championship belt, because Diamond Select did give us championship belt too, but, but this one closes, and it closes so nice and easy. And, you know, as someone sure who does a lot of. Uh, yeah, I think it might. Let's, we can find out. As someone who reviews a lot of wrestling toys, I know my belts. And mm -hmm. uh, this is a pretty solid belt. The fact that it can close is a big deal. And it looks like it should be able to wrap around her, because it's doing it right now. Ah, she is the champion. I'm actually really excited. Cause I don't think even Diamond did the belt as no. well as this one in this case. That's, no. I'm going to leave that on her. I'm leaving that <laughs> oh my on God, her. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, and Aang over here has his bow, his staff, which can also mm. be his glider. In this case, it's mm -hmm. just the staff, uh, as well as two airbending effects. Two, not one, two. And we'll come back to those a little bit later on. But yeah, that's what, that's what those two have. So Zuko comes with firebending. It's going to fit into one of the hands. It, it's a little weird, but he's basically just shooting out. A big ball of fire. I wonder if actually uh, if I can go onto one of his hands. Yeah, it does. It's out. I put one of his hands on it. To no, see I, no, actually, there's a fist imprint. Oh, it does. Oh, yeah, okay, it's cool. meant to wrap around his arm. So oh, okay, I don't know cool. which hand it is, but uh, oh, that's even better. <laughs> it looks like this should be able to wrap around his arm because the plastic on this is also a little pliable. Yeah, because it looks like there actually is an imprint. Oh, so. that's even better. 
Yeah, uh, you know, it's the first time doing this on camera, so we haven't actually really played with these that much, but no. uh, I believe, yeah, there we go, just wrap it a little bit more. It does fit. I mean, you might, you might actually have to take out the arm. Yeah, it might be the other fit, fist. But I mean, th there you go. That's what it's, oh, that's perfect. That's how it should be. That's so. way better. Yeah. Oh, he also comes with his swords, his broadswords, and sword holder, which is pretty cool. And then moving on with Katara, she has she has her water whip. But she gotta love, you gotta have the water whip. And, of course, she has her, her little pouch of magic water. water. Pouch. Wow. Her, her, her water pouch. As far as accessories go, this set in particular has just destroyed uh, McFarlane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. By far. And I think another big point that they've destroyed them at is, uh, well, being able to stand up, frankly. Because mm -hmm. we had a big problem with that with our McFarlane toys. Yeah. Was getting them to stand up straight. And uh, there's a reason for that. There's several reasons for that. But, yeah, getting them to stand up straight was very hard. I think Katara suffered the worst, actually. Yeah, she did. She's the thinnest. Of... And uh, actually, I believe Zuko is also pretty terrible because of his stupid feet. Because the way his feet are positioned. Yeah. Now, none of them have peg holes for bases, unfortunately. But the one major thing that Loyal Subjects has that McFarlane doesn't is those 31 points of articulation. So with the McFarlane toys, we do not have that amount. No. The McFarlane toys, and to be fair also, are a different price point. They are meant to be budget toys. These yeah. are like $10. Loyal Subjects are, I think, 15 ish Maybe a little more, depending where you get it from. And one of the things that you're paying for is that articulation. And you can already see the way that we've been moving this around and moving uh, these figures around. You can already see that there is a lot of articulation. Yeah, is it the 31 joints? I do not know. Well, but it's pretty close, I would say. Let's find out right now. So okay. I'm going to grab my top here. And we have ball jointed head. I mean, I'm not going to count if you aren't going to count. But One. All right. We have ball jointed shoulder. Two. On each side. Three. We have the bicep swivel. Four. On both sides. Five. Double jointed elbow. Six. Seven. The wrist can eight, bend nine, and flex. So that would be 10 and 11. 10 and 11, yeah. Uh, the waist moves. 12. It's a little harder on top, but it moves. 13. 14. Let's see. Uh, 15. 16. 16 double jointed 19, elbow. 18, 19, 20. 19, 20. And the ankles can do some stuff too as well. Eight. We're probably missing a few points of articulation, I kind of feel like. but I'm not sure how they're counting the double jointed elbows, because to be yeah. fair, a lot of companies will, will count like the pieces itself as like the joints, and yeah. we do that, and that's like another four right there. Yeah, exactly. So it, if it's not 31, it's really close. It's very close, actually, and all the points for the most part are moving. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I'm impressed. Toph can move the way she's moving. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't need to worry about these guys as much. I mean, I feel like Aang, I don't have to worry about. But... Actually, Zuko is funny. Um, One of his ankle joints is not, it is a little stiff. So he's standing, but it, his foot's actually at a little bit of a weird angle. Looking at Aang, it almost looks like he's meant to have a butterfly joint, which would make him like be able to do this a little more, but okay. uh, I don't think it's there. I think it's just the way the joints are exposed. Okay. My concerns were the people, though, with like stuff blocking their legs. Yeah. And like how that would hinder their movement. Top, surprisingly, not really anything to worry about. Aang does have this piece of his robe right here. That makes it unmovable. Um, yeah, well, Zuko and Katara both have their, their tunics and everything, but hey, check it out. They can like, actually move. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah, uh, oh. McFarland, no. No, <laughs> not at least not, not at this version. This is my new season one version. Yeah. But even then, I mean, comparing, like, you know, uh, let's get our Katara's. Katara mm -hmm. actually was able, she had slits there, so you could, but it yeah. was difficult. Oh, wow. I've forgotten how textured this Katara was. Yeah. Uh, this Katara, way more mobility mm -hmm. because softer fa uh, plastics here. Yes, by far. That is one thing I'm glad you pointed out that is different between the two of these guys oh, is the shoot. level of detail there. So, yeah, with all of the McFarlane toys, the texture and the fabric. Oh my god, yeah. There, there is like actual texture to them. It's not just smooth. All mm -hmm. of the loyal subjects, way smoother, more cartoon this accurate. This is, yeah, this is by far and way more cartoon accurate, yeah. Um, this is really cool because this is almost like bringing them into the real world a little bit. Even yeah, the hair. Exactly. More detail, much more detail. But I don't know, I almost feel like maybe that kind of hindered them a little bit. I think they were trying to like find a way to get more bang for your buck. Yeah, but. For the cheaper style figures. But at the same time, it, you know, I would have rather they could have figured out a way to do a little bit more articulation um, instead of texture. As far as like a likeness comparison, uh, I feel like that's apples to oranges. Yeah. To be honest, they're both good. Yeah. And they're both different. Mm -hmm. And likewise, with, I think with the diamond select stuff, it's also the same. They're different, you know. Yeah. I will say this. I do appreciate that Katara, for the loyal subjects, Katara has a, is much more expressive than uh, <laughs> than McFarlane. Yeah, I will say loyal subjects are more expressive. Mm -hmm. That's another big like, plus too. Far and away. It's hard to compare those two in the likeness area just because they are different. Yeah. But they're... Good. They're both actually good mm -hmm. in this case. I don't really feel like one's better than the other, maybe. More preference. Yeah. Yeah, personal um, preference. One other thing that I think that we need to talk about since we're doing the comparison, and this is this is actually really noticeable in the hands, the com their complexions. They made sure to give... Each person has a different complexion. Katara, as part of the Water Tribe, she's a little bit darker. 
Um, and you can tell from her hands. Zuko, he's lighter. And it, it shows, you know. Um, same with Aang and with Toph. There are just, like, slight differences, and it works really well. And it shows how different they are. As I was moving this around, by the way, I can confirm there is a butterfly joint in there. Oh, nice. So that is two more joints for them. Oh, wow. So we're actually very close to 31. So, so yeah. something else we're missing, I don't quite know. Oh, wait, I know. It's missing the buck. <laughs> Not yeah. all of them have the buck, because they have the waist and the buck. So there's 31. Oh, wow. They're comparable to, like, a WWE elite figure. Wow. That's impressive. That's really good. I mean, again, these are under 20 bucks each, so you're paying double or close to double as yeah. opposed to the McFarlane toys, but definitely getting more of an action figure. Oh my gosh, I just realized, I think Katara's necklace comes off. Whoa, you could probably pop your head off to find out. I don't want, oh yeah. Remember, because the heads actually do pop off. Yeah. You're right. they, that, that, it does, because the, ah, <laughs> I take, how easy can I take the head off? Yeah, I mean, that is uh, that is a question. Oh, these are stiff heads. Yeah. Those are the joints are pretty stiff. I got it. Yeah, wow. Oh, uh, but uh, yeah, check it out. Her necklace comes off. Wow. So Zuko can take it. <laughs> so I do want to try something else very important right now, because speaking of McFarlane, you know, a lot of people want to see these guys side by side, but... Ah! Come on, can I let me get your head back on? I can't get her head back the on. The most important comparison is Andrea Struggles is Appa time. Wait, no, can you put her head back on first? Okay, I guess I gotta do all that again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like I didn't know. I could get her head back on. There we go. Uh, she's. I can you. Did you put this? the necklace back on? No, because check this out. Wait, wait, check this out. Check this out. What am I checking out? Her necklace is back on. Oh, okay. All right. So, all right. Let's move on this part then. Okay, so we have. Uh, it's now time for the most important thing. So throughout the video, we have been doing comparisons, and uh, you know, like I said, I'll throw up some side-by-side -side photos of these guys together. But really, the most important thing. It's peanut butter up a time. Peanut butter up a time. Peanut butter up a time. Peanut butter up a. Peanut butter up a. Peanut butter up a. I'm okay. I was not expecting that. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have Neither the Appa. <laughs> this is the McFarlane Appa in scale with their five-inch figures. <laughs> Goodbye, Kong. Katara. She's just that excited. I want to see if this scales up and how it scales up and more importantly if they can actually sit on this guy because oh. that was an issue with uh the other mcfarland toys well katara can't really sit yeah like, i don't think we're gonna be able to get everybody in there because again they're all small and appa is not to scale either katara can do a split sort of kind of little yeah bit. Aang, this version of ang does not katara sit can easily. squat oh my can goodness straddle. I mean, uh, well, Aang can't really either because this piece of plastic. So Aang is just going to stand up in the back. Well, and, let's see what could do. Or Aang could do the Titanic. That's so weird and creepy. <laughs> Zuko can straddle. Not any less weird than this seems to be so far. Uh, <laughs> this conga line of elementals. <laughs> I mean, yeah, all right. Okay, well, well there you have it. <laughs> so the answer is no. They still can't sit in this either, but... Uh, <laughs> We Zuko did this. Is just, yeah, Zuko is just like, ah, oh, why am I in the back? Yeah, I mean, this, this is, is a thing. This is something, all right. I don't know what we did here. Well, I don't know what I was trying to accomplish with this, but I'm pretty sure I failed at it. <laughs> yeah. It's like the A-team over here. It's, it's frankly still better than what the McFarlane's did, though. I will say it's mm, way better than what McFarlane yeah. was able to accomplish with, with getting these guys there. So, uh, yeah, as far as, like, size and everything goes, yeah. Yeah, um, um, it's a thing. is probably better with the lowest objects. Yeah. Surprisingly. Unexpectedly. Yeah. I don't know what to make of that. Yeah. Uh, so, while we're figuring this out, uh, just quick, quick pivot. Yeah, the other thing that came with these toys. We've yeah, there about. is one other thing that came with the toys. We got cards. Which is nice to have. Yeah, we got little trading cards. It's like unexpected bonus. Yeah, I, I always love it. You know, we got Aang, Katara, Zeke, and Toph. Yeah, they're and really nice. They're really they're nice cards. Yeah. I mean, I don't I don't really care for the descriptors on the back. I mean, it's just, you know, it is very generic, but it's just I don't I don't know, there's something about it that I don't really love. It feels like it's not really true to the character like Zuko here. He this this is season 3 Zuko cuz he's got all the hair and everything. Yeah. But on the back, they're describing him as though he's season 1 Zuko. You know, we're talking about how he believes firebending is the most dominant of the um, elements. Um, his teenage confidence makes him think he's, you know, invincible. By season three, he knew that wasn't the case. You know, he had been humbled. So I, I don't really like that part, but I like the cards are good. Like the, the, um, the illustration is good. Yeah. I just don't really care for the descriptions in the back. So the, the cards are just an added bonus. Uh, don't yeah. take too much credence into them. They're just yeah. an extra freebie. Yeah, they're just really cute. Yeah, they're nice. They're, they're a nice little display piece to go with. I'll, I'll give that. So I'll say overall, you know, as far as like what's better, because that's what people are going to want to know. Is if they're watching this video, which one's better? Which one should I get? Uh, it's a tough choice. 
but I think for me, if I have to choose, surprisingly, I'm going with Loyal Subjects here. I think I will be too, but and something I need to know. She's got the water whip. I just want to see how she's, whether she can stand. I think she can, yeah. Oh, okay, so right there, automatic, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's going to go right. Because, you know, meanwhile, she's Yeah, and check it out, she's still standing. Yeah, so, I mean, I got to tell you guys, Loyal Subjects. Loyal Subjects. Yeah. Go with loyal subjects because yeah. uh, McFarlane did a good job, but they made a lot of oh. missteps. And part of that is because they are ten dollar figures, whereas these are more money. But you get what you pay for, and why not pay for something better? Mm -hmm. And well, it's not really that big of a difference. Like really, yeah, you got so many more accessories mm -hmm. than what you're getting with McFarlane. Uh, you're getting multiple hands, multiple accessories, good accessories. Like mm -hmm. this is a great base. Yeah. This is so much better than what McFarlane gave us. Absolutely, yeah. So, yeah, so th this is just I gotta tell you so guys, good. yeah, you know, the loyal subjects. Like really, it's worth the extra money. Um, I'd say you can mix and match a little yeah. bit too, though, because, you know, for oh, example, yeah. they have done some characters that others haven't. Like, uh, McFarlane has Appa, McFarlane has the Komodo dragon lizard yeah. that the bounty hunter has. I forgot her name. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, but they, they, they did that creature, or the rhino lizard, whatever it was. Yeah. Um, so they, you know, McFarlane gave us the creatures. Yeah. They have not done that here. There's no Momo here either, we should no. mention. Momo's probably with, if I believe, there are two other versions that Loyal Subjects has done with mm -hmm. Aang. I'm pretty sure those have a Momo. Okay. Um, but yeah, like, you know, Loyal Subjects did Jet. Yeah, I know that one is that was a deep cut, uh, but I don't think they've done Iroh yet. So yeah, McFarland and Diamond have done Iroh, and yeah, Loyal Subjects needs to do that next. They've not done it yet. Yeah. Nobody has done any of the Kyoshi Warriors. There's no Suki at yeah, all I yet. Yeah, I know. What's up with that? What's up with that, indeed? Um, um, but yeah, so there's still I don't know what's happened with McFarland. I feel like they're basically dead. They're done with the license mm -hmm, now. And, yeah. I, and likewise, I think Diamond had more plans, but it feels like it's dead in the water also. But I don't really, know what's happening with Loyal Subjects either. But. I really hope Loyal Subjects keeps going because one, these are great. Yeah. Two, there are so many characters that haven't been done. Kyoshi Warriors. You have um Ma May and Ty Lee. Um, yeah, no one's done them yet. Yeah, and it's so it's. I just feel like there's 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 so much more potential. So for me, the greatest compliment I could say to them is that I want to see much more from the Loyal Subjects, yeah. more than the other companies. So yeah, I'm going to say if you got to pick only one, go with Loyal Subjects. Yeah. yeah, Absolutely. We I haven't looked at a lot of them in the past. I think mm -hmm. that might change now. Yeah, right? Because uh, these are really good. Oh, like, I, I reviewed some early Best Action figures. Mm -hmm. I didn't like them that much. There was I good remember. about them, but the likenesses were not that good. Even the mm -hmm. anime one I did was like not that... It was okay. Yeah, it was the, okay. It, there was room for improvement. I think they've improved a yes. lot. Okay. Yeah, they have definitely figured out what they're doing. Uh, they're doing a way better job. I mean, I'm I'm inspired now. I think I'm going to start buying their turtles. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to okay. go in that direction. You've been holding so off I've on that. I've held I'm able to find them. Yeah. I think I'm going to start hunting down the turtles. And uh, yeah. we're going to be looking at those guys soon. So that is our look, though, at the Loyal Subjects uh, Avatar. This is the four-pack of the mm -hmm. elemental characters. We we have Aang, Zuko, Katara, and Toph. Yeah, we love them a lot. I think mm -hmm. a lot more than we thought we would. So. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys want to pick this up for yourselves, we're going to have links to our Amazon affiliate store in the description below. Yeah, it helps us out at no cost to you. Yeah, so if you want to pick up some Avatar toys, that's the best way to mm -hmm. do it. Really, it's the only way to do it. It's the only way that you should do it. Please do it. <laughs> <laughs> so until next time, I'm Matthew. I'm Andrea. This has been Nerd News Today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Flamio, hot man! Flamio. <laughs>